any more fans, please. Mud lovers, we made it to Bonnie, Scotland. As you can see, it is a beautiful late summer's day. Uh, there's a few midges around. I'm going to try and not get bitten. And we're getting our gear together. Uh, Sean's just in his bus, getting ready. Uh, there's my little tent. Uh, yeah, a nice little uh, stopover. And so now we're going to go and try and find the gold. We've got our gear just sitting out there. We've got sluices, buckets, shovels. Waders, it's going to be a long old walk, but um, you know, we've got to find these gold places somewhere. So, hurry up, Sean. We've got to get going. Let's get some luck in the burns. <laughs> some bum look thing in this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it fits you perfectly, man. Is it? Yeah, yeah, it's got his sluice pack. It's like a, you look a gold buster. Yeah, who are you gonna call? It didn't take you long to uh, derobe, did it, Sean? No. Got to get, got to get lubed up. <laughs> what are you expecting this trip to be like? How are you doing, Sean? I'm okay. Sweaty. I'm a bit warm, sir. Long old walk, wasn't it? It's a very, very long walk, sir. <laughs> You're not in the army now, don't call me, sir. <laughs> Well, we've arrived and this location is absolutely stunning. I can't wait to spend a few days here trying to get the gold out of these here rivers, or burns as they're called in Scotland. Hey, get on, Sean. Uh, yeah, set the sluice. That was quick. I think it's all right. I'm gonna... Blimey. <laughs> There's our sluice there. Sean's getting on it straight away. You found the nugget yet? Think I'm near me. Well, I've done my first pan, test pan, and I think I've got a little flake of gold in there. Let's go and see what Sean thinks. And we're talking flake, we're talking a minute flake, but flake's a flake. Just there at the top of the pan. Sean, is that a flake gold? Not a flake already. Have a look. Top oh. of the pan? Yep. See it? Yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah. No. Oh. There, you just went over it. Oh, oh God, yeah, there it is. See it? Yeah, I thought that was shining. Yeah, the tiny. In fact, spot. there's another one there, look, I think. And there's some Mika. Yeah. Look, there yeah. it is. There, look, at the top. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that yeah. is. Yeah. Nice, you can actually see it. Ooh. Where's Miss Snuffer? Yeah. I just dropped my gold. And somewhere in there. Why do I always drop stuff? I was trying to get the camera to zoom in on it and I dropped it all. What a plonker. Oh. Yeah, so my theory as it comes around this corner, the gold slows down 
And that big lump there tells you where the heavies are sitting. All those heavy rocks suggest that's where the heavy stuff falls and stops and can't continue. So I'm going to try a hole right in the middle of this little mound here. See what comes out of that. Any dancers? Any dancing stones? Tiny dancers! So, I mean, I'm just trying to get down on that bedrock there and see if there's anything directly there. And if there is, uh, we know we're in the right spot, don't we? Good idea, man. Yeah. Any colour? Not a sausage. No. Oh. Not, not a sausage. Oh dear. From this bedrock. I think this is, like I said, I think this stuff was laid down as the river finished flooding. And this would have been swept clean until it slowed down and then this all dropped out. So I don't think this is the gold bearing stuff. What we want is packed gravels. There's black sand in it. No gold. Not even a powder plate. No, there's not even a plate in it. So I'm thinking I might try a different spot. Yeah, there's one little bit. Tiny, tiny bit just there. Oh yeah, is it? Tiny little flower goals. <laughs> Well, a little update. I'm yet to find another flake since I found that first one. I've already dug this whooping great hole and only like really fine powdery gold, not a lot. Sean's had about four or five flakes, but we're just uh, prospecting at this moment and uh, we think we've got a better spot. We're gonna try on the bedrocky areas. Probably should have done that from the start. Um, but there we go. We've got some other places to try. Um, Sean's just do another pan. Let's see what he's found. Oh, okay. Oh, wouldn't that would? Yeah, downward. <laughs> oh, you can't get, yeah, can't get much worse at this moment time for me, anyway. Yeah, that's. Uh, I think all of it is what that is is because what I've sucked out that bucket is uh, it might be one little flake. Yeah, one think, right in the middle. I think there's two little tiny bits. Two, two, two little dots. Yeah. I lost one of them. Is that one there? One yeah, there? Might be. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's taken us all day. We've uh, sunk many holes, but I finally found a little flake. It's because it's a new location, we're not having much luck, but I've got a little flake, so I didn't blank, thank God. It's tiny, but. I'm expecting better things tomorrow. You mean that one? Yeah. Yeah, tiny little flake. Sneeze and it'll lose, yeah, you'll lose don't, it. Don't there it is, at the top of the pan. Little flake there. Well, it's an actual flake you can see, rather than like powder gold that I've been finding, so. Pathetic. 
but it will do. I tried to drop this one. Look at that beauty! And I've got an excuse to use my snuffer bottle. Day two, we're hiking to the same location. We're going to try a few different techniques today. Sean's going to do some snipering, which basically means getting in a wetsuit and goggles and uh, seeing if you can find anything by eye. And uh, what are you doing there? Using spiders. Oh, you're a spider. <laughs> Good idea. Yeah, it's very spidery around here. Cuffs would love this, he loves a spider. Night. <laughs> so yeah, looking forward to today, let's see if we can get some luck in the burn. Sean and his spider wand. I thought you left that back in the uh, van. Well, we found, we lost and found an, uh, an item of equipment which is very much like us. No. Well, we'll just come back to the spot and uh, Sean's noticed that where he was digging, there's a few flecks of what looks like gold just sitting on the bed. Come and have a look at this, this is incredible. If it is indeed gold, I don't know if you can make that out, look, but... You might have to move it around to get it to just, Yeah. Like, if you look at that grey one there, there's a couple of pieces, if I just point to it, like, if you look around there... Yeah, they look golder, don't they? Well, that's... Yeah, whether you can see or not, but we're gonna scoop a few up and see if there's actual gold there. I think it is. It's coming up. Well, high five, preliminary high five. <laughs> Don't get too excited. Well, this should be an interesting day. So rather than um, doing the sucking, sluicing, buckets and back breaking stuff, um, we're going down a different route today, as I mentioned. I've got a detector. I'm going to see if I can pull any little nuggets out and uh, Sean's here going to do some sniping which means looking underwater with his snorkel and seeing if he can find any pickers or clangers as we've decided to call them hopefully when they drop into the pan they'll make a little clang Clang. yeah so don't drop any clangers ah. Ah. right let's see how much luck we get in the burn ah look at that so how many times have you snorkeled Sean? never <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, it is like being on, like, like you say, in the in the in the Alps or something, isn't it? Hey, he's got some gold in the pan. I was gonna do high five then. Oh, was you was gonna do it. Oh yeah, nice. Is that a flake? Yes, mate. Nice flake. That's what I sucked out the little crack. Oh, very so. good. If you suck the and another little dot there as well. Yeah, I, have, I just saw it as I oh, moved cool. it, so there might be a little bit yeah. more in there. I'll suck that out, and then I'll um, I'll, I'll clean the rest up and see if there's. Oh, one next to it, isn't there? Or is that just my pyrite? Uh, I'm not sure about that. Might be. Might be a little wire bit there. Yeah, I think it might be. Oh, that top it was pyrite, I think. Yeah, it just floated off, didn't it? Yeah. I just saw it as I was panning. I went, oh, oh. Yeah, I think the bigger bits you'll see quite easily, won't you? So, mm. yeah, there's a couple of flecks, but I'm not going to bother with that. No. 
I think we just carry on looking for the bigger bits. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Oh my God, I've just panned and I've got four lovely colors in the pan. Hey, go, Sean, check it out, boy. Seriously? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah oh, wow. Out. Nice work. Wow, they're big. <laughs> oh, well done, mate. Look at that. Four good size flakes. Which, that's a nice big one. A little wire piece and two other yes. fair size flakes. Oh, mate. It's in. That <laughs> is, that's really good news. That yeah, is awesome. Really good news. Yeah, man. Yeah, and they're first, big ones, first, yeah. First little crackle. First, first little crack. Big, first little crack. Always look down your crack, I always say. Crack. Well, the next pan has produced a bit of silver. I'm not sure if you can see that. Just to write that little scratch. Yeah, cool. Take that. I'm looking for gold though, so. Uh, not being greedy. That's cool though. Well, I've only got a five flake pan. Oh, look at that. Lovely five flakes at the top there. Four on that side, one over there. Oh, terrific. Suck those cracks, Sean. Yeah, there's quite a deep little crevice. I just hope there's some gold in them there cracks. I hope so, because I've got a lot of gravel out there. No. Well, it acts as like a little riff, all this, doesn't it? So yeah. that's where we're thinking the gold's going to be. Should be. If it's... We got a nice pan. We've got a few flake pan, and one of the flakes is quite nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Biggest flake so far, I reckon. Do you reckon? Yeah. It looks it, doesn't it? It's, quite, it's like two flakes joined together almost. Yeah. Nice. Well done, dude. Well done. It's yeah. a lovely pan. Yeah, I can see yeah. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, we'll throw all seven. Well done, mate. Well, just pulled pull some dirt out of here, but I've just noticed. Oh, yeah. There seems to be a flake just sat on the wall of that. Thing. Sweet. You think it is? It certainly went like one, didn't it? Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll find out later. Yeah, when we do a little roundup. We'll get a clean up. Hey. <laughs> Well, I've just told Sean that I think I found a clanger. I've got a beautiful, beautiful, almost could be described as a nugget, but or a large flake. But either way, it's the biggest one I've, I think I've ever had. Woohoo! Well, I'll go and show Sean. And it's in here. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. This is definitely a uh, puts wind in your sails, this one. Have a look. Hold the pan, hold the pan top of the pan. Oh yeah yeah whoa big wire gold isn't it? It looks like yeah yeah that's big. I wouldn't say it's a clanger though. Not quite a clanger yet is it? You're a little bit hopeful. Oh, give me a clanger. Oh, yeah, come on baby. Yeah they're not. Oh actually it's 3D. <laughs> it's not flat. Hold on there's only one way to find out. It's not flat. Right, does it clang? Hang on, do you want put, to... Put the water back in it, ready? No, you don't want the water, do you? No, no, I want it to clang, ready? Oh, did that clang? No. Ready? It's stuck to my finger. That yes. clangs, that clangs! It clangs! <laughs> it's a clanger! <laughs> 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 Boop, 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 boop. That is a lovely little flake, mate. Cheers, dude. Look at that, it's like 3D. Yeah. Turn it around this way. What way? Look I can't it, turn my no, hand. Should, you can, there you I go. I can't. <laughs> It'll break my wrist. There we go, we have an actual, we actually have a clanger. That's a beauty, isn't can it? Can I clang it? Yeah, don't drop it out of the air. Yeah, you it can bounced. definitely. <laughs> it bounced and double clanged. <laughs> oh, well done, mate. That's, Cheers, that's dude. That's well worth the uh, effort. Excellent. Yes. Well done, fella. Cheers, man. Well done. And there's another few colours in there as well. Oh, most definitely. One, two, three, there's four. about eight or nine in there. Yeah. I reckon. Oh, I'll get that certainly, clean up. Certainly more than what we can see. Yeah. Sweet. Well done. 
look at that pan, ladies and gents, and everyone else who's interested. That is, I reckon you've done a, you've done a, well, that's probably the best pan so far. Look at all those beautiful flakes. I wonder if one of them's a clanger. That's a 20, I reckon that could be a clanger. It's not, no, it's not, it's not 3D, it's flat. Oh, no, it's a stone. What about the other one above it at the top, next to no, it, at the top there? all flat. Yeah? Yeah. That's wicked though, mate, well done. It's a nice, nice little pan, isn't it? Yeah, it's lovely. I think there's probably still some others in there. But, uh, we'll just sweep that all out of the way. Suck that all up. Sweet weather, mate. Hey. Thank you. Oh, Sam. A few bits in there, though, so. Yeah, nice couple of, uh, big old flakes for me, look. The one there. The little one there. Beautiful. She wants to add another little, lovely little pan as well. Five it's coming six, up. Six or seven, yeah. That's a lovely pan. Well done, mate. Well, I don't know if you can see this, guys, but as we're exploring these little cracks, just seen what well, I think it could be a little bit of gold. I need some tweezers. Where's my tweezers? Um, Where are your tweezers? They're in my pocket. No, they're not. They're not. No. Oh, are they not in the spiky thing? Oh. I'll just. <laughs> uh, I've lost them, mate. Oh. All right, we'll just have to use fingers. It's alright. They were nice tweezers then. I know. I've had them for years. There we go. I didn't stuff them back in the hole properly, obviously. I'm going to put it straight in the pan in case I lose it. There we go. A bit of water. A bit more water. There we go. Cracking! I wonder if that's a clanger. Not quite. Where'd it go? Lost it. Lost it. No, there it is. Obviously stuck to my finger. I'm not going to try that again. Don't, every flake counts in this game. <laughs> no, definitely. You don't want to be... There's a little mozzie there. Look, see that? Little midgey. They're everywhere at the moment. Little gits. I love Scotland. But you can keep your midges, seriously. Maybe they will come in with the rain. But yeah, it's getting a bit cloudy now, look. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but look at all those midges. They're horrible, and that's not rain, they're flying around. Trying to eat us for dinner, but we do have jungle formula stuff on. And they are still eating us. Well, they're trying. spider sticks with us to get through the uh, forest of cobwebs. Nothing comes easy. There's one, look. I'll try and avoid his web if I can. The others you just can't see. It's like I'm blessing everyone as I go. Bless you trees. So Sean's got me carrying everything today. He's got a little backpack with his lunch in. Some, probably some suntan lotion when he gets his shirt off later. And I'm, I've got all the pans. And those pipes there are the pan pumps. Just call me donkey from now on, Sean. <laughs> well, what we're gonna do today, whoever, we've still got a couple of spades we need to bring back and they're just a bit annoying to carry, so whoever gets the least amount of gold flakes has to carry both the awkward spades back later on. So there's a bit of an incentive there. Let's see who wins. The gold flake shovel challenge. Well, first blood goes to Sean. Oh, well, it's blown me right out of the water. 
Oh, you, a nice chunky bit at the top there. It's like a clanger. Let's see. Ready? Yeah. Oh, it clanged. Yes. She's a clanger. Must have 10 pieces in there, or 11, 15 perhaps. It's well, you quite count, good. You, yeah, you count them up. Count well, them. I mean, I, I, I'm not going to count the micro dots, but anything sort of as big as that, a yeah. quarter flake. Oh, yeah, we'll over a millimetre, yeah. Yeah, something like that. So right. it's one. I'm not counting that. That's, that's a dot, 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 dot. But I might count that. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. The rest Ooh, are dots. Thirteen. So I'd, I'd say thirteen. It might be more actually. But what up, mate? First good, uh, first good pan. <laughs> Excellent. Got some catching up to do. Well, I'm on the board. I've got my first significant flake. Come and have a look. There we go. No doubt Sean's going to get another 10 panner to smash me, but I've got one. So it's a good place to start. Oh, yeah. A few more there for Sean. Looks like there's about five. The five. And there's think. a silver one there. Oh, yeah. It's pretty cool. Slowly creeping up. Four for me. Twenty something for Sean. Got a feeling I'll be taking those shovels back. Little tiny bit. Oh, of not only has he got the most amount of flipping flakes, he's got the biggest one now. Oh, don't get jealous. <laughs> not. I'm happy for you. I'm glad it's here. That's a lovely little pan. Well done. Let's try and get on the finger. Oh, it easily picked up that one. Is it fat? fat? Oh, look at that. Yeah, Drop lovely. It in for the clang. Yes. There's a bit of a tap from other than that. That's so, cool. That's a nice one. That's almost a gold coin there. Yeah, yeah, very, very small, tiny gold coin. You can use that as a plectrum for your guitar. Yeah. Banger. Oh. That made a nice rattle. You clean out those cracks very well. Yep. How did you do it? Luck. Lucky He's a lucky. Oh, I'm good in the muck, but you're better on the yeah. rivers. In the gravel. Yeah, in the gravel. Yeah. 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 Keep going. Must try harder. Or we'll just have a better spot. Have a better spot. Well, it's raining and I haven't had much luck at the moment. I've had very, very little in the pan. Sean's been doing fantastically. And uh, I must admit, I was getting a little bit down because despite us doing exactly the same things, I'm literally 10 foot away finding dots and he's finding flake after flake after flake. And good luck to him. He's here, so we're finding, one of us is finding it. But I've just found what we think is possibly I'd say so. The biggest flake of the day. It looks like it. Hey, yeah. come look at this bad boy. Yeah. And there's another one in there as well. But that's a beauty. And the camera's getting wet. We're all getting wet, but we're having a great time. Finally getting some good gold. And that's, that is a real clanger. <laughs> well, I'm really shocked with that. I think that could very well be the biggest flake of the trip. Okay, it's nothing compared to lots of other countries, but for us, it is a beauty. Well, for me anyway, I'm absolutely uh, over the moon. All that's left is to see which one of us uh, has the most amount of flakes today, because the loser will be carrying home the shovels. So if you fancy gold panning yourself, but you don't want to get attacked by all these midges and be rained on and hurt your back, I recommend using goldwires.co.uk where you can buy packs of gorgeous pay dirt all ready for you to pan. All you've got to do is order online, go to the website, they'll deliver it, and then you can pan for gold yourself in the comfort of your own garden. Maybe I should have thought that before coming here, but no, I wouldn't change this for the world. But if you want to try some at home, I recommend trying out that website. What do I look like? <laughs> this is the only way I know how to keep the midges away. They're flying. I don't know if you can see them on camera. 
Oh, they're everywhere. Oh, that, that's better. Look, look at that. Oh, they're horrible little baskets. Anyway, look, look at my arm. Look at this. Goodbye. Sorry, but they're horrible. But we're still finding the golds despite the midges. And uh, that's a nice little pan there. Five or six different plates. I'm never going to catch up with Sean, I don't think, but I'll give him a good run for his money. Well, look at who it is. It's uh, all right, Ethel. How are you, love? Oh, very good. <laughs> what a very faction bonnet you have. I know. I think it might actually be attracting them because it's yellow. <laughs> so it might not be the best plan. For the moment. Oh, yeah, I look very fetching. Yeah, it's, an, it's tea, I've got a t-shirt on my head. Does it say, does it say mud lovers on the back? Oh, mud lover. <laughs> it's all right, I had to put it on my head. Apparently they do sell those net things, but we didn't have time to, uh, to get them. <coughs> Next time, I'm definitely getting one of those nets. I got one, but it didn't come in time. Yeah, Sean got one, but it didn't come in time, but hey ho. We're finding the gold, so that's all that matters. All right, all right, Sean's got the best pan of the day. <laughs> Modest, didn't you? Again, well, yeah, I only had two good ones. Wow. What well on, mate. You're just moaning a minute ago. I haven't had a flake for well, like 20 I know, minutes. But I, I, I hadn't, you know, and I knew that I had to get into that rock. That baby. Oh, a little heart shaped piece of iron pyrite. I'll take that. Cute. Well, guys, um, yeah, you can't take me seriously looking like this, can you? <laughs> um, interestingly, in the pan, there was something other than gold. Come and have a look. More like a Thames fine. So, got a few speckles. Very nice little uh, bits of gold, obviously. And this, looks like a little chape. You know, we find these chapes on the Thames. It looks like one of them. Maybe it's medieval. Strange the things that turn up in your pan including lots of lead shot that they used to shoot the deer with to keep them under control because uh, otherwise they get a bit naughty eating up all the baby saplings and getting out of control so they come here and shoot them sadly but I'm sure they make use of all the meat and fur and antlers etc go baby well the mood in the camp is a combination of uh, having great time but also trying to contend with these sodding mid midges. We wouldn't m mind the rain and even the cold, it's just the midges could get in your face, you breathe them in, you cough in. You end up looking like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, look at them. <laughs> well, I wonder who won the amount of flakes challenge. Who's got to take the shovels back, Sean? Oh, mate. <laughs> You're carrying the shovels like a good man you are. That's a clanger. That is a clanger. But hopefully I'll find the biggest flake. Yeah, so you won that <laughs> challenge, but there was no um, thing associated to that. No, there weren't really, was there? No. There but that was good. It was a very good, good day. It's, it's, it's bloody... It's not very good though, the weather, is it? And these midges. No, it's not. Let's get back to the van, have some, uh, have some rub and a beer, and uh, see what we found. Nice one. Well, we're back in the bus. Sean's got his scales out, because we're going to see if... ...my big old nugget actually registers. It's got to register. Must do, surely. Get it out. Chance to drop it. Make sure it's dry. Ah, oh, oh, it does. Yes, point point one two. Ooh, that's a tenth of a gram. A twelve, twelve hundredths of a gram. Nice. Oh, that's like. What did we get? 0.1 
3.3 or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's like that's almost half. And if you breathe on it, you get more. You get more. <laughs> 0.14 now, look. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 0.13, yeah, it's going up, it's getting heavier. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we'll call it 1.3, uh, 0.13. Oh, I'm happy with that. Yeah, most definitely. Hey. I, didn't, I didn't think it would be in the. Yeah. I, was, I was thinking 0.0 something. Yeah, <laughs> definitely 0.0 something. Oh, that's really cool. Actually, I've got a piece of gold that could actually put itself on there and weigh itself. Happy days. We'll show you the rest of the gold soon. There's my golden smile. Is it like a hemorrhoid, did you say? Oh, no, asteroid. No, no, no. Constipation. Constipation. Constellation. Well, my lovers, we've reached the end of our epic little journey up here in Scotland, and we're just looking at how much gold we've found. I've got to say, sure. It's, it smashed it. No wonder I was taking those shovels back. Yeah, there was no doubt. There was no doubt. I mean, the good thing is, Sean's had uh, probably double the amount of gold I've got, but I've got the biggest flake, so we've both done really well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You won one, I won one. Exactly. So it's a, draw. it's a draw. It's a draw. At the end of the day, it's yeah. a draw. Exactly. So, but anyway. It's a, it's a, Oh man, look, come look at this. <laughs> Whoa! That's a really good couple of days worth. Nice bit of silver there as well, yeah. we think. There's three, I think, little flecks of silver in there. The, the gun shaped one. Yeah. Over this side. Oh yeah, there is a little gun shaped piece of silver. Yeah. Yeah, that's a really nice haul, man. Some really nice good sized flakes as well amongst them. Yeah, that's a good nice mixture. It's, 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 isn't it? It's a sort of a, a good um, selection of different size pieces from, yeah. from here. Whereas where we went before, it was all very small pieces, or similar sized. Yeah. There wasn't well, many big big bits like this, was there? That method we were using by sluicing yeah. or sucking the uh, cracks between the hard uh, the bedrock it worked. Really worked, and it saved us a lot of backache. Although the first day was a bit pretty much wasted yeah, trying absolutely. that technique, but, um, but it was well worth trying. Yeah, I think we've done really well. I mean, uh, yeah, we got more in three days, or probably maybe double what we got in the last week we were there. But yeah. that's, you know, we, we're no experts. We're doing this for fun. Like I said, if you fancy a go, go over to that website, goldwires.co.uk, grab yourself a bag of pay dirt and see if you can find gold, which I'm sure you can, because it's in there. But it's just a fun way of uh, getting to get your hands on a bit of gold and try it out. So this is my pan. Tools. Mine. Uh, yeah, but I had about a three hour duck of not finding anything. But anyway, I really love that big chunky mama there. And he's she's gorgeous. Yeah. Well, hello everyone. I've uh, got my gold in my pan. It's pretty good. I don't think it's going to be a hell of a lot, but you know, we'll wait out just for fun. Um, definitely done better than last year. And even if I haven't done that lovely nugget stroke large flake which uncle and nugget looks really cool and so happy with that great result um yeah take a little bit of that rubbish out a bit of um a bit of grime in there make sure that's all clean now my scales are playing silly buggers so let's hope they uh stay on for duration hello all right here we go i'm not gonna hang around let's get in the van Oh, 0.3, 0.37, 0.37 grams, 0.36, 0.37. Well, well, that's pretty cool. Let's see what Sean has got. I'm sure he's beaten me, but um, you know, it's not all about who found the most amount of flakes. It's who found the biggest flake, obviously. <laughs> Over to you, Sean. Okay, so here we go in true Aussie. Gold Hunter styley. One. Oh, point four. Point five. Point six. Point seven. Point eight. Oh, come on. Point nine. No. Oh, what? 
1.01, just over the gram. So what is he going to upcycle this week, I hear you ask? Well, it's not going to be made of gold. Instead, I wanted to do something with that lovely pyrite heartstone that I found. So I'm going to mount it onto a piece of copper, kindly donated by a viewer called D. Every time. I'm scoring in a pattern that represents the water that flowed around the heart that has worn it into this shape over the centuries. I've signed it ML for Mudlubber on the reverse. This heart-shaped piece of pyrite contains lots of reflective particles and minerals and changes in appearance in different lights. The camera really doesn't do it justice. But I like to share and I'm gonna sell this keyring so if you head on over to my eBid page, the link is in the video description, you can have a cheeky bid and help support the channel. You can keep it as a key ring or maybe even put it on as a necklace. Happy bidding. Wicked. All right, well, that was a successful hunt, I must say, and it's been a delight and pleasure to... It's been fun with you, man. Thanks yeah, so much. Cheers. Sean's laid on this bus for me, so big thanks to you, man, for, uh, <laughs> for putting that up. Um, yeah. And uh, yeah, we'll do it all again probably next year, I reckon, don't you? Oh, most definitely. <laughs> cool. All right, my lovers, thanks for watching. Don't forget, Click this thumb now for more mudlarking adventures and uh, yeah, see you next week for some mudlarking or whatever it happens to be. See you later guys.